I recently bought this charger especially because it can measure internal resistance and I'm using that to select cells to uh, to match them uh, for building my own battery packs and there'll be a link to that video above. Uh, just thought I'd do a general video of it as I find the, the charger to be very useful in charging all sorts of different styles of um, sizes of cells. For example, our favourite inner loop here. You can see it's correctly identified it as a nickel metal hydride and uh, as we would expect it has a very low internal resistance and it's set the charge to uh, half an amp in that instance. This charger supports these two bays at up to two amps and the center two at, at one amp so we can have a total of six amps uh, of charge. If we try it with another cell, this is a, just one out of an old solar solar light and again it's nickel metal hydride and 52 milliohms internal resistance if we try one of these uh, this is a Sony 18650 as this is a much higher capacity cell the charger will allow this to charge at, at 2 amps and we can simply select the, the charge rate there um, this being a 2000 I think 2200 milliampere cell we could charge that at 2 amps but probably to prolong its life uh, we'll leave it at, at half an amp and sometimes you will come across um, odd size cells this again was out of a little solar device unfortunately it doesn't really sit in there very well what I do in this instance is to take a little neo neodymium magnet and uh, use that as a as a spacer and then we're able to charge that that size of cell as well so I think you'll find it's a very flexible charger it is able to accommodate uh, a range of different uh, cell types not only the lithium ion but um, lithium iron and IMR which is uh, lithium manganese rechargeable and you can see the different cell sizes there and uh, not forgetting our old friends uh, nickel metal hydride and nickel cadmium in the traditional sizes there. One other trick that the device has up its sleeve is if you remove the power um, it goes into its USB power bank mode and we have uh, an output at 5 volts at up to 2.1 amps on the back there. If I now connect my phone to charge it we can see that the voltage has dropped just very slightly to 5.06 and it's outputting uh, 680 milliamperes. Not the most ergonomic of power banks but um, it uh, can serve that purpose as well perhaps uh, in an emergency situation. So I hope you found that uh, brief review uh, of interest. Um, the only fault that I can find really with this device is the, the noise of the fan which I do find rather uh, obtrusive. But uh, maybe you'll have to take the thing apart and uh, get a solution to that.